I'm getting in the zone, but you wanna know what's up? It's time for another episode of College Level Cooking! Today we're gonna make the quintessential college student food, ramen. Sadly, I've never made ramen or eaten ramen ever. I know, I'm a crazy, crazy college student. So I have an expert with me today, my friend Diana! Who's on her phone? Hi, sorry, I got a Snapchat. Do you wanna see the Snapchat? Snapchat? Real quick? <laughs> yeah. This is Diana. Hi! She's a ramen expert. Yeah. AKA, she eats it a lot more than I do. I eat it a lot, yeah. Let's go! Okay, so Diana, yes. tell us what you do. Well, your yakisoba is my current favorite variety of ramen. It's beautiful. And it's a lot better than the regular ones because, fun fact, the actual ramen, like the marchin, uh, like the, the square, yeah. uh, the chicken one, I've eaten it so much that I've come to realize that they have been lessening the seasoning packet, and so it's not as chickeny as it was before. <sighs> Gypped. And that is a serious problem I have. I've written many letters, actually, no, that's a lie. I want to, though. <laughs> you should. I really should. I will help you. Great. So, you take off the thing. Of course. Yeah. Taking off the plastic is always good. Yeah. So, I am frankly not a fan of these freeze-dried freeze little, um... Veggies, they taste like poop. Gross. Not literally, but they just add no flavor and they really get in the way. So, those are gone. Awesome. Sorry. If you want to be healthy, then do that. If you want to eat cardboard. Yeah, there you go. Um, flavor packet, gotta keep that. You know, you gotta fill it up. There's a little line that says fill line in there. Can we can we get a close up on that? Yes, you can actually. Where is it? This edge. It's up on the side, right over there. It's hard to see. Yay! Just trust me. It's Whatever. There. It's trust there. Trust me. It's there. It's there. Yeah, I'll fill that up to that that young fill line. And then you um, close it up. Do that thing. Right. Microwave. No. And go four minutes. Brilliant. Yeah, and then you usually get on Tumblr on your phone and. That thing. Or I walk into the hallway and chat with you. Or you, yeah, you that happens walk. a lot. Yeah, because I'm making ramen a lot. Now, now I have a question for you. Yes. Would you prefer this more like watery, so it has like juice, juice, or would you prefer? <laughs> There's a way. It's frustrating that I had to figure this out. Or like where it's more condensed flavor. Personally, I'm a fan of the condensed flavor because the water gets annoying. But that is my cell phone. Oh, camera. And camera! Dent. And then What? Is this a group text I'm not in? Yeah. Why? I'm sorry! It's fine. Back to the ramen. Back to the ramen, yeah. We're gonna make a more condensed flavor. So. Cool. That's fine. I, I don't know anything. Please, guide me. There are many different flavors of ramen. Fun fact. There is chicken, beef, pork, shrimp, teriyaki. Uh, shrimp? Like, it's spicy. It's actually really good. Mm. My favorite is the pork, though. Has the most flavor. Tastes really good. There's does like, it, do, do these taste like the actual meat they're trying to portray, or they just taste like salt? Some of them do. Like the pork, it kind of has like a, a seasoning pork mm -hmm. type dealio. Shrimp. Shrimp's actually not bad. Beef is a little sketchy. I don't really eat beef. I don't eat the chicken anymore. And this is like talking like in those like square pieces. That's right, yeah, yeah. Like this. I think it comes with like- Don't they come in cups too? Yeah. I ate those a lot last year. Those were bad. Because <laughs> they had the crappy vegetables in them too. Basically, oh. kids don't eat your vegetables. Don't eat freeze-dried vegetables. Those are bad. Just don't eat freeze-dried anything. Yeah. I hate that noise. That was so anticlimactic. I thought it was okay. Okay. The uh, problem is, there's a good chunk of water still in there. Mm -hmm. And whoops, the flap went down. And I'm not a fan of that. So you know you gotta mix it up. Okay. Just get that puppy going. <laughs> then put it in for like another 30 seconds. Alrighty. Gotta shake it up so that way the seasoning packet is not, you know, like stuck. Yeah. Yeah. You know, tear it along the line. No, you don't have to. I just enjoy following directions. And I like to do an even coating. Of the thing. I I would yeah I would I would test that. That yeah. sounds good. No oh, mix 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 mix. 
Amazing. Lovely. Ramen. Look at our beautiful creation. Here, give me the camera. Now let's taste it. it. It's gonna be warm. Obviously. I'm just informing you. So really, I'm just eating flavored noodles. Yes. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna blow on this because it's hot. Yes, probably. Duh. Probably smart. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Like, do you actually like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Now you can have that staple. I'm not barfing up, obviously. True. You can have that staple. It's like 198 in the pod. Nice. Yeah. Which flavor was this? This is chicken. They have this one and teriyaki beef. I like this. I have not tried the teriyaki beef. Ashley says it's quite good. You might have just gotten me addicted. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really good. Oh, it's great. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know I'm getting through finals now. <laughs> Thank you, Deanna, for being our special guest and ramen expertise. Hey, dude, no problem, man. Now, now I have all the knowledge. All the knowledge. And you can make your own ramen because this is mine. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very hungry. It has been a long day. I understand. It's a Monday. Monday. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. Love the thing. The big one. <laughs> I know. Okay, the big one goes like. Yeah. And the little one. There's a little one. Focus. <gasps> hey, I got it. Yay. Cool. Okay, cool.